Hello, I'm delighted to have Dr. Helmut Ludwig with us today. Helmut is the CEO of Siemens Industry USA. Welcome, Helmut. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, this morning, we talked about uh, new technologies and processes that are transforming industry. Uh, would you like to share with us, in your view, what are a couple of technologies that will have a major impact on our industry over the next few years? Yeah, and yeah, I, I think we talked about this morning this necessity for a push and pull of technology. Right. So it's not only having a wonderful technology, it's important that we apply it correctly. And, and let me give you there some examples uh, which are along the lines of energy efficiency, which is top of mind of many of our customers, industrial productivity, and last but not least, how do we bring product design and, and production design and production automation, how do we bring those two worlds together? Let me start with energy efficiency. Uh, around 70% of the energy consumption in, in the US is happening in industry. And much of this is happening, for example, with electrical motors. Now, electrical motors, uh, when you compare the traditional ones with really modern motors, there's an energy savings potential of 30 to 40%, very significant. Uh, what do we do there? We help our customers to identify this potential by very simply, simple web-based tools, a little energy efficiency calculator where you can see where you're standing and how can you, you can improve it. Um, at the GMA conference this summer, for example, a food and beverage customer talked to us and he said, you know, sustainability is top of my mind. How can we address this? What we do there with our customers is we go through with an audit where we look at water consumption and energy consumption and then do a proposal. So I think, example, energy efficiency, what is important is not pure technology, it's also how do you make this technology easily available. Let me give you an example for industrial productivity. Industrial productivity is core also again for many of our customers. How can they improve their competitiveness? And um, we are with them in this. We are manufacturers, designers ourselves. So we have to set us targets too and how do we improve this? And what we see is that the totally integrated automation concept, which has been a, a fantastic success story for many of our customers applying the totally integrated automation, we, we saw there an additional opportunity by introducing, which we did last year, the totally integrated automation portal one engineering portal that combines all the most important engineering aspects in a factory. And I just talked to one of our OEMs and he says he can now shorten engineering time by 40%. Now the third element I really think which is, which is fascinating, fascinating to me and fascinating to many um, analysts and customers I speak to is to finally bring together these two worlds of product design and production design and production automation. And uh, what we are experiencing there is when you, when you set really tough goals, let's say for example, half time to market, a goal we put internally on us in, in one of our units, then you start identifying opportunities where when you make changes in the design, you know what it means for your production facility. That's a vision we're driving. Now a vision alone is not enough. You have to take steps to bring a vision into reality. And one of our core customers, Rolls-Royce, is showing here at your ARC conference, they are showing how they start to bring together product design through manufacturing execution down to the factory floor. Amazing opportunities that are there. So asking me, technologies, I think the ones that address energy efficiency, just your productivity, and bringing the product design and the production design and automation world together. These are these resonant enormously well with our customers. That's excellent. So many different things that are happening right now uh, in, in our industry. It's really exciting. Uh, I understand recently Siemens uh, had a significant uh, reorganization uh, here in the U.S. Could you share with us, uh, you know, what, uh, how will it benefit your customers? Yeah, yeah Andy, let me talk first about some environmental changes we find here. Um, and, and we discussed those um, with, with a lot of participants at the ARC conference. Manufacturing renaissance. Manufacturing engineering is again top of mind of many people in the overall public, but especially in industrial companies. So manufacturing and engineering are becoming really important. 
Now, what is for us important is how do we address it and how do we serve our customers best? Maybe as a point, in, uh, as, as a point there is Siemens grew last year with 12%, quite a significant growth. Helm of this, really leading in this, where our divisions drive technologies and industry automation. What, what, is, what is behind it? What, how do we drive this? And there are some strategies which, I, which, which are, I believe are important when we go to market. One is to really speak the language of our customer. So when we go to a food and beverage customer, we go to an, automation customer, an automotive customer, we go to an aerospace customer, that we can transform the opportunities that we are created by using our platforms in their language. The benefit which can be ge can generated in a brewery. The benefits that can, gen can be generated in automation of a production line for automotive. That's number one. Speaking the language, investing in people that really know the industry. A second element which we, which we addressed before, but now we have a really an organization focusing purely on the customer there, is our service entity. And there we looked left and right. We looked in healthcare inside Siemens, we looked in energy inside Siemens, and what we find there is a, is a team that's really dedicated to service, being 24-7 with our customers and getting the information from our customers that they really need and coming back to them with solutions that can be services, it can be products, it can be systems. I think that's a very important aspect. And last but not least, software. And there we are back to this topic, really helping our customers step by step to bring these two worlds of product design and manufacturing together. Uh, here in the helmet, uh, here in the US uh, helmet, uh, uh, what are the key industries that you are focusing on? Where do you think you yeah. can grow your business over the next few years? Yeah, actually we, we see several industries. And uh, this year, for example, we saw major investments in the automotive industry. Very important investment there in productivity, expansion plans from almost all our automotive customers, which are very significant. But we also see significant productivity improvement investments in aerospace or in supplier industries to aerospace. And then the food and beverage industry, still a very important one. One aspect I would like to address, however, and there is also the, um, how, how customers right now look at their installed base. What they look at is and they say, well, maybe in the last years we have not done the necessary investments to really stay absolutely on top of where we should be. And several customers, for example, a chemical customer, they looked into this and they said, we have to find a completely new setup for our automation in our plants. And they, they asked 10 companies to provide their answers to this uh, challenge. And after a very detailed benchmarking process with, with a very strong Six Sigma analytics behind it, they came to the decision, the best offering that covers their discrete processes, their batch processes, and also their continuous processes would be provided by Siemens. And we are now selected as the strategic supplier for this. So we see in several uh, industries, we see opportunities. One industry which is also developing is really the one where we, where we have alternative energies. It's on one hand in solar and wind, but it's also unconventional gas and unconventional oil. And again, there are opportunities of growth here, especially in the US, which we are addressing together with our customers. Helmut, uh, thank you very much uh, for being with us today. Thank you for watching.